Welcome back to the 22nd Annual Santa Barbara International Film Festival. I'm Ted McElwee, and I'm here with Meredith Medley. Hi, welcome. This evening we're going to be presenting the American Riviera Awards for Whitaker. It'll be very exciting this evening because Sandra Bullock will be uh, presenting that award to Forrest, and he was actually the director for Hope so it should be a really special experience for her. <laughs> I think it'll be special, and then for those who don't know anything about Sandra Bullock or Hope Floats, but you do know about Fast Times at Richmond High, that was his first appearance in a movie. So from Fast Times at Richmond High to Oscar nominee, portraying Edie Amin in The Last King of Scotland. Yeah. And one of the other things you may not know about Forrest Whitaker is he's actually well known as a vegetarian and has opened up a raw foods restaurant, so we may get a chance to speak with him about that as well. So we hope you'll stay tuned for great coverage. Thanks for continuing to download our podcast, and uh, please stay tuned for more. Keep looking because all of them are all of them are great. We'll be back right after this. Can we talk to you for just a moment? Uh, what projects are you working on right now? It's not about me tonight. It's Forest Night. Why question like that? Hi, Forrest. Hey. If you could take a look at all the roles that you've played, which role do you most personally identify with? Identify with? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Most like me. I don't know. Panic Room is kind of interesting. Yeah? Yeah. What part of it? The character just seems, I mean, he just seems like a normal guy, you know what I mean? And he's just trying to do the right thing, you know what I mean? Trying to take care of his family, gets in a bad situation, trying to, still trying to maintain some integrity. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. This is Ted. Hello. Hey. How, how, do you, how do you hold, how do you keep your integrity under pressure under scenarios like this where you're now an Oscar Award nominee, big films? I don't know uh, if it's what's only thing that's really sh shifted is uh, that I've been getting so much positive energy uh, these days. So many people like saying great things, but it's not going to probably change the way I make my choices in my films, or uh, not going to change the way I'm at my house, or you know what I mean. <laughs> the, the basic root level things not going to change, but maybe maybe it'll give me a. a a boost that that'll allow me to continue to do my work for the next the next 25 years. <laughs> Forrest, quick question: You have a vegetarian restaurant, I believe, and you you're a I, vegetarian too. I, I am a vegetarian, and I, I have a raw food restaurant in Los oh, Angeles. Right, right, right. Yeah. Excellent. Can you tell us a little bit about it before you go? Uh, it's called Taste the Goddess, and uh, it's it's just uh, raw organic food. You know, it's really healthy for you and tastes good too. So I don't <laughs> know. Right. Have a great one. time tonight. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank you so much. I'm Meredith Medland, and this is Ted McElwee, and Forrest Whitaker is being honored this evening for the American Riviera Award. Uh, Sandra Bullock will be presenting that this evening, and that's for over 25 years of his experience in film and radio. So this evening, we're thanking you, our viewers, also our sponsors. Ted, thank you so much for joining me on the red carpet. This has be been here, great. Thank you very much. My name's Leslie Westbrook. I'm a weekly columnist for the Santa Barbara Daily Sound, and it's been a great pleasure and honor to be part of the Pod Squad. We've had a great time covering the festival, and we hope you enjoy all of our efforts here on SBIFF.org. Go Pod Squad! Hi, Diane Singh Van Patten here. We've had a great week this week meeting all the celebrities, interviewing them on the red carpet, and having a great time going to the after parties. I hope everybody was able to tune in and see the footage with all of our great pod spot podcasters. And we've had a great time being here, and I hope you've enjoyed the experience as well. Look forward to seeing you next year. Bye-bye. 
Hello, I'm Peter Davidson, and I've been behind the camera with the podcasting team as we cover the talent and events at this year's film festival. I hope you will continue to watch the podcast website as we post more clips in the coming weeks. You can reach me at 805-455-0008. See you next year. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm Angelina Peterson, and I have had the fortunate opportunity to be part of the podcast team this year. I've been behind the camera, been able to attend all the events, the presentations, see a ton of stars. It's been a great experience for me, and I hope to do it again next year. Um, thank you for the opportunity, and I'm sorry I didn't get to sit on Wilson's lap, but it's okay. Better luck next <laughs> I'm Ted McElwee, and it's been a pleasure bringing you celebrity interviews from the red carpet this week at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. If you'd like to find out more about me and what we're up to, please visit www.CostaRicaEcoAcademy.com. Have a great time. Thanks a lot for enjoying the content that Ted and I and our whole crew has provided. If you'd like to hear more about environmental issues or talk to me a little bit more on my show Living Green, you can find that at personallifemedia.com. That's personallifemedia.com. So if you'd like to be a guest on Living Green or if you know someone who's interested in the psychology of ecology, that's where you can find me. And if you're interested in creating a reality that's even better than the one you're living in, you can check out my website at 3outcomes.com. That's the letter 3, 3outcomes.com. My name is Meredith Medlin, and I'm so grateful that you followed me around this evening. Thanks to the cast and the crew and each person that made the Santa Barbara International Film Festival so successful this year. Thanks, everybody. I could only be here if it was for you. Thanks. Hi, everybody. I'm Scott Parent, and I am the director of content and production for the podcast for the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. I want to thank uh, the entire crew that worked tirelessly all week doing things that I asked of them and things that I asked them not to do, uh, but working hard and giving their all in everything that they did, and I really want to express my heartfelt gratitude for that. Uh, you can check out more of my stuff over at AmericanCliche.net and listen to my radio show on Sirius Satellite Radio every week. Thanks. See you next year. Hi guys, Joseph Bettini here. I'm the executive producer and director of the official podcast station for the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. This has been a great year, even better than last year. I didn't have to do it alone. Last year I did it all by myself, and this year I had a great team called the Pod Squad. Everybody pitched in. It was a great community effort, and we got a bunch of really good footage. You see some of it on pod.sbiff.org, and more to come. We're not going to stop just because the festival's over, because we have footage stacked up to the ceiling. So we're going to go through that footage, and we're going to keep bringing more podcasts to you for about a, co oh, about a couple of weeks until after the, the festival's over. And then when the festival's over and we've exhausted all the footage, we'll go back to what we were doing before, which is giving you the Cinema Society audio recordings with directors, producers, and actors at Famous Films. Roger Derling is there to give you lots of good interviews with people that come into town and show us their films way ahead of time. If you haven't joined the Cinema Society already, do so. Go to sviff.org and join the Cinema Society. Help support the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. We'll see you next year.